Hi, this is The Good Life Investor. And today I wanted to cover something very unique. I wanted to cover the residency and citizenship for a very unique and a nice country. It's South Korea, one of the strongest task force that you can get. Now, a lot of people freak out with this whole idea of not being able to have multiple citizenships, but not everyone thinks the same. There are a lot of people who are happy with their multiple residencies and one strong passport. So it could be a Dutch passport if you like that part of the world, but if you like something more exotic, South Korea is an excellent choice. Not only does it give you a great passport, but it also has access to great facilities and great resources, a, a different part of the world, but very attractive to a lot of people, especially uh, someone from Asia. It's, it's a hot favorite if anyone gets access to let's say south korea permanently then uh you know it's it's a big deal for a certain set of people and not to say that you know the western side shouldn't look at this i think this is a great um option if you are okay with having one of the best passports in the world and then pairing that with your multiple other residency options so let's look at the deal in south korea how much money you need to spend, how can you get the PR, how much time does the PR need, and how can you then get the citizenship of this great country. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jay Shuresh, and here we discuss different residencies, citizenships, options, the benefits, the advantages, the disadvantages of each of these residencies or citizenships. So if you haven't subscribed, Take a moment and subscribe now so you are up to date on the latest and greatest in terms of changes in these regulations. And also, if you like the type of content I create, give me a thumbs up and let's get started. So there are three options in this uh, in this case. And the first option is uh, for temporary residency. So the first two options are temporary residencies. The next, the third option is a permanent residency. So if you are 55 or above, uh, you can invest 250K in, um, in South Korea, and you can start off with a temporary residency and then eventually uh, work yourself towards a permanent residency in the country. If you are younger than 55, then the amount jumps up to 420K USD, the same deal, you get a temporary residency, then you work yourself up to permanent residency. But if you deposit approximately 1.25, that's one and a quarter million USD, then you can directly jump to permanent residency without doing the temporary residency route. And once you have done this investment, physical presence requirement for this golden visa scheme is literally once a year. So you have all the flexibility there that you would expect from a typical golden visa. So physical presence is really not needed to maintain the residency in this case. The processing time is super fast. It's like 20 days. So in 20 days, approximately, your application can be processed. The South Korean passport is one of the strongest passports in the world. It has access to 190 countries. So it's really right up there, much stronger than your typical US, Canada and uh, other options. Next, let's talk about the type of investments that are eligible under this option. The first investment is in a public fund administered by the South Korean Development Bank. The principal is return after five years and there's no interest in this option. So you, you invest, you park your capital in this public fund with the said bank. And then after your um, tenure is complete, meaning after five years, your investment is given back to you and there is no interest on this amount. So you're losing out on the interest, but in return, you're getting this residency option, then that leads to citizenship. Second one is a risk-based investment. And this is in a development project in a less developed uh, region of the country. They decide all of that, which is developed and which is less developed. But the idea is that you're investing your money in a project and it could be an infrastructure development, a hospitality uh, project or any other type of project considered to be of particular interest in economic development. Investments carry certain amount of risks. 
but there's also potential for higher returns, meaning you can actually end up making money if these projects turn out to be profitable. So I hope you liked this information on South Korea. This is particularly good for people who uh, don't mind a single strong passport and maybe they have residencies for other purposes, but from a, a portfolio standpoint, if you are a person who is okay with a single solid strong passport, then two of the strongest that you can get in five years is the Dutch passport and the South Korean passport, two different uh, options for two different set of people. But in my opinion, the South Korean passport is a pretty good document to have. If you want to get started with any of the residencies of your choice or residencies that lead to citizenship or direct citizenship options, click the link in the description, book a call with us. We can discuss your use case and get you started with your application. And if you have it already, subscribe so you get notified of any changes to any of the programs. And if you like this video, again, thumbs up. And until next time, you take care and goodbye.